those were all the settings now let's test the charge and see how good it works how fast it will charge this 1000 battery that is completely discharged let's see what is the maximum 18 amps and then we set it at charge charge 12.6 volts are we okay with it yes and it starts charging let's see how fast it goes but it's so far so good it's doing it really fast we are just one and a half minute and already almost full it's just balancing the, the cells out as you can see down below absolutely great charger get my thumbs up already and it's not even finished hello guys welcome to a new episode of dysc where we're going to review the toolkit rc m8s multifunctional lipo charger that can charge with 400 watts because this is the S version the m8 s the m8 8 could do 300 watts but this is the s and it can do 400 watts and up to an 8s battery the input voltage is dc from 7 to 30 volts it's two volts more than the smaller brother like the m6 that i reviewed like a month ago it charges really quick really fast i was really happy with this field charger because it's so small and fits in your pocket and the m8 is a little bit bigger but not much bigger it still fits in your pocket and can charge almost three times faster than the m6 well, 400 watts is incredible three years ago i bought a really big charger that can only charge it up to 60 watt, 80 watts and i was really impressed with it this little charger can fit five times in that really big charger and charges five times faster than that really big charger and that in just three years the technology of this little chargers has been improving so fast lately and it cannot only really charge to a 6 cell but even up to an 8 cell battery even if you're using a 4 cell battery to power up the charger there's an input vo voltage regulator so you can still charge an 8 cell battery even if you're just using a 4 cell and that at 400 watts is pretty amazing at 80 amps when you're charging a 2 cell because I must admit at the 3 cell the maximum watts is getting lower and the 4 cell even a little bit lower, more lower but to get into too deep in this information about lipos and how they work there's a whole another video i'm just going to test out toolkit rc m s little lipo charger and all this multi-function and outside that it can charge several lipos you can also charge the telephone using the usb connector on the side and then you also have that looks like a silver connector where you can check your receiver's signal output and it's a watt meter if i'm correct and that for a little price under $50 is pretty amazing in so, so, so small package but to test this little charger I got here a 1000 mAh 3 cell battery that has been discharged fully and I want to measure how fast it will be charged in the fastest rate and see how much of those 400 watts we can use and how fast it works and that we go do in the charger menu and the menu works like this you press the round knob is okay got two functions then you can go around and preset several settings that you like and then you can charge discharge and storage charge and if you go up you can set the different settings and change them around from the current charge let's see what is the maximum 18 amps that is pretty amazing and the lowest is 0.1 so from 0.1 to 18 amps you can check the cells automatic we can also set it from 1 cell, 2 cell, 3 cell, 4 cell, 5 cell, 6 cell, 7 cell to all the way up to 8 cells and you can set the end voltage you can even set it above 4.2 volts but if you got a high voltage 425 is the maximum but we like it at 4.2 volts and then you can set the battery type of course from lipo battery to lithium battery life battery i got one of those and lion nimmer and then the pb and that's it but we will set it at lipo and then we do press exit we got one little button for that and we go to the measures see what we can measure we can measure 
battery voltage and internal resistance. Let's test it out. First, we connect it up. There's an XT60 connector, and here we got the balance. I'm gonna put the minus to orders. And we're pretty nice and smooth. Let's test and see what we get. Yes. Resistance to so this LiPo battery is at 2%. Total voltage is 10.75 volts. 46 milliwatts, temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. And here we got the voltage from each cell, 3.5, 3.5, 3.6. So I really like that we can see the voltage from each different cell. And we can also test the internal resistance. And testing. Oh, the, the second cell is heard. First and the third cell are very close, they are still 19. The second cell, hmm. So there's a slight difference. We're coming in a little bit, it's almost a year old. They're still in pretty okay shape. I'm gonna cross test and to all the different batteries that you have. So let it leave it at LiPo. Press exit, then you can test the PPM, SBUS, and the watt from EC up to 18 amps. Huh? Do remember that, or else you will smoke, create some magic smoke. <laughs> but that's not something I'm going to be testing out, Let's, but I'm pretty sure it works, up to the maximum of 18 amps. Here we can test power. Output, I'm just got the same. See, Mavic 2, the Mavic S, the Mavic Spark, Phantom, Inspire, because it can also charge the DJI batteries. Especially that it's got a special menu for it, pretty nice. There's a PPM. And first. And let's go to settings. And here we can set the lowest input voltage. The lowest should be 7 volts, right there, stop at 7 volts. So you can even use a 2 cell battery to charge a 3 cell. And then we got the input power. 550 watts is the maximum. And then we can change the temperature for if you're living in a hotter country where the temperature is just way hotter then and you get a safety temperature error all the time well there's nothing wrong because it's just usual for your country then you can set it up a little bit higher to 80 celsius and the same for the safe exterior temperature that's the one you're gonna be playing around with if you're living in a warm country and the safety time you can set it really high for if you're charging a 16,000 mAh battery that will take a lot longer time, of course, because it's a huge battery. Then you have to make sure it's set to the max. And you can set it all for 300 minutes, maximum, maximum. And then discharge mode, so the internal recycle. I said, and leave it eternal. And that are idle beep. So after five minutes, you get a beep. If you're not using the charger, then you know you're burning power, you're using juice for no reason. Then okay, you can check the SBUS value to white, original. The backlight, set up at 10. The buzzer, or 2 is more than enough. And then the knob wheel, we can make that lower, slower or faster. Normal is good enough for me. Time still dark or light. Well, that's really bright. It almost hurts my eyes, so leave that as dark. Language, English. 
Deutsch, France, Italian. I'm not sure. Back to English. And then default is OK. Those were all the settings. Now let's test the charge and see how good it works. How fast it will charge. It's 1000 battery that is completely discharged. It's not half discharged, not been used in a drone and then it will be set at 3.7 volts each cell where the drone just stops flying. No, it's been fully discharged. And now we're going into the charger. And we're gonna set it up correct. We want to charge to 4.2 volts. Three cell belly. Cars and children. We'll just set it to the max. 18 amps. And see how fast we can charge this little battery. And then we set it at charge. Charge 12.6 volts. Are we okay with it? Yes. And it starts charging. And let's see how fast it goes. Well, after a minute, the fans are kicking in and it doesn't make any extreme noise. Super, super light. They are all very small instead of the big, huge fan that they used at the M6 charger. These are two small fans that are here in the back. But it's so far so good, it's doing it really fast. We are just one and a half minutes and already almost full. It's just balancing the, the cells out, as you can see down below. Absolutely great charger. Get my thumbs up already, and it's not even finished, but I will be flying continuous. Like this is just one two minute wait, and my and we can fly off again. This charger in the field is just amazing. I'm just so surprised. 400 watts is <laughs> insane. It's crazy. I love this little charger. This is gonna use a lot of times. It gets my thumbs ups. It did charge one cell, the first cell, or the third, the third cell, a little bit over 4.2 volts, it's, but it's bringing it down right now, and the first cell is going above it, so, and the voltage is above 12.6 volts, hmm, oh, it's not, yeah, 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 it's discharging at the moment, right, I will say like, <laughs> I still hear in the fence, it looks like it's charging, but now it's discharging, it brings all three cells to 4.2 volts, Right, they are all correct now. And that in just 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> just enough uh, time to land, to drink something, <laughs> to take some candy, and you can take off again. In the meantime, your, your battery is fully charged again. Wow. In just 3 minutes and still discharging. Right? 3 minutes and 50 seconds to charge a fully empty battery to a fully charged battery. It does feel wrong. And the temperature of the battery is 116 Fahrenheit. That is 45 degrees Celsius. Not bad, not bad. For 18 amps, it did an amazing job. Because this is only an extreme short time to charge your battery so you can keep on flying out in the field. Normally, I will be using, of course, a balanced charge and I set a lot more lower amps. So it's much healthier for the battery. But at its maximum, everything set to full. And then charging a 3 cell battery 1000 mAh in just 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Wow. Just wow. Amazing. They will get my stamp of approval. This toolkit RC M8S 400 watt charger is amazing. You get a lot of bang for your buck and it can charge the batteries up to 8 cells in a record time in just a very small package. It just blows my mind. Let's disconnect the battery real quick. Yeah, we know it's completed. <laughs> we know, we know. And I wasn't using a 4 cell 60,000mAh battery that I like to take with me in the field to charge all my batteries so we can keep on flying. But at home we can also use a PC power supply of course to charge this little charger at home. Or you use a big battery and then once in a while, once in a month, you charge up the big battery. You've got many, many possibilities. Plus, with two small fans, 
cools much better than the one big fan that I used at the M8 6 charger. This is a good multifunctional charger for less than $50. Hope if you're liking this, then please give this video a like. If you're interested in the product, then check out the links down below. And I want to give a big shout out to Banggood for, for supplying me with this little charger so we can do this review for you guys. I've been supporting the channel for over a year, so please send them some love for me and check out the links down below. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough. You will be adding these videos to a playlist that will be helping me out a lot. Thank you very, very, very much. This was DIYRC signing out. I hope to see you next time. So if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't be notified when the next video will be released. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.